वेलकम बैक टू इन्फी ज्ञान माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एलजेब्रा फॉर रियल वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बाई रेशनलाइजिंग अवर डिनोमिनेटर सो आई विल मल्टीप्लाई इन द डिनोमिनेटर एंड न्यूमिनेटर बाई स्क्वायर रूट वन सिक्सटी फाइव माइनस वन Now we have a plus b times a minus b form in the denominator. So we can use difference of two squares formula, which will give us square root one sixty five whole square minus one whole square. So I can write here one sixty five minus one. So our denominator will be one hundred sixty four. Now I can write our equation with denominator one sixty four. X cube plus forty one over twenty one equal to one sixty four times square root one sixty five minus one over one hundred sixty four. So we can cancel one sixty four from numerator denominator. Now x cube plus forty one over twenty one will be equal to Square root one sixty five minus one. Now we will multiply both sides by twenty one. This side also. So twenty one will be over from LHS. I will get x cube plus forty one equal to twenty one times square root one sixty five minus twenty one. Let's subtract forty one from both sides. So we will get x cube equal to plus and minus forty one will be over twenty one square root one sixty five minus sixty two. So I will write x cube equal to twenty one square root one hundred sixty five. Minus sixty-two. So if I will check the value of square root one sixty-five, it is close to thirteen. So product with twenty-one will give us x cube positive. So for real x, x must be positive. So we will accept the value of x, which is positive only. Now I will consider y cube, which is conjugate of x cube. So I can write twenty one square root one sixty five plus sixty two. Let's subtract second equation from first one. So we can get x cube minus y cube will be equal to minus one hundred twenty four. Let us say this is equation one. Now we will find product of these two. So x cube times y cube equal to Twenty-one square root one sixty-five minus sixty-two times twenty-one square root one sixty-five plus sixty-two. So we can use difference of two squares formula once again. We can write minus sixty-two whole square. Now four hundred forty-one times one sixty-five, seventy-two thousand seven hundred sixty-five minus sixty-two square will be three thousand eight hundred forty-four. This difference will come out sixty-eight thousand nine hundred twenty-one, which is cube of forty-one. LHS we can write x y whole cube. Once we will take cube root both sides. For real x y value, this will be over cube root and cube. So we'll get x y equal to forty-one. And this equation we will call equation number two. So we have two equations: x cube minus y cube, and x times y. Let's solve. So I will write x cube minus y cube equal to minus one hundred twenty-four, and x times y equal to forty-one. Now we will assume. X minus y. Suppose it is equal to m. 
एंड द एलिब्राइट फॉर्मूला एक्स माइनस वाई होल क्यूब इक्वल टू एक्स क्यूब माइनस वाई क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई एक्स माइनस वाई सो एक्स माइनस वाई इज एम सो एल एच एस विल बिकम एम क्यूब इक्वल टू एक्स क्यूब माइनस वाई क्यूब माइनस वन ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस थ्री टाइम्स एक्स वाई इज फोर्टी वन एक्स माइनस वाई इज एम सो आई कैन राइट एम क्यूब इक्वल टू माइनस वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी थ्री टाइम्स एम और वी कैन राइट एम क्यूब प्लस वन ट्वेंटी थ्री एम प्लस वन ट्वेंटी फोर इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ दिस इज वन क्यूबिक इक्वेशन एंड इफ आई विल सिंपली चेक एम इक्वल टू माइनस वन टू अवर इक्वेशन वी विल गेट माइनस वन होल क्यूब माइनस वन माइनस वन ट्वेंटी थ्री प्लस वन ट्वेंटी फोर So minus one twenty four plus one twenty four will give us R H S zero. So I can say m equal to minus one is one root of this cubic equation, or m plus one is one factor of this cubic equation. And we can write cubic expression as m plus one times m square plus a m plus one twenty four equal to zero. Let's multiply these two brackets and compare the coefficients. So I can write here m plus one times m square plus a m plus one twenty four equal to zero. I can write m cube plus a m square plus one twenty four m plus m square. Plus a m plus one two four equal to zero, or we can write m q plus a plus one times m square. Then we have one twenty four plus a, or a plus one twenty four times m plus one two four equal to zero. If I will write our cubic expression m cube plus one twenty three times m plus one twenty four equal to zero, I can simply compare the coefficient of m square from both the equations. I can write a plus one equal to zero. So we will get a equal to negative one. So I can write factors. M plus one times m square minus m plus one twenty four equal to zero. So from here we can conclude m plus one equal to zero. So we will get m equal to minus one. M was our substitution x minus y. And if I will write here this quadratic m square minus m plus one two four equal to zero, and I will check only the discriminant value. So this value will become b square minus one square is one minus four times one times one twenty four. This value will come out negative. Discriminant is negative. We will get complex solutions. So we can reject. This quadratic equation. So m equal to negative one will be the accepted value. So I can write m equal to x minus y equal to negative one. And our second equation was x y equal to forty one. Now from this equation, I can collect the value of y. Which is forty one over x, and this value we are applying here in this equation. So x minus forty one over x equal to negative one. Let's multiply both sides by x. X is non-zero, so we will get x square minus forty one equal to negative x. Or x square plus x 
minus 41 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation we can use quadratic formula. So x will be equal to minus b so minus 1 plus minus square root of b square 1 square 1 minus 4ac. So I can write plus sign 4 times 1 times 41 minus times minus plus over 2 times 1 which is 2. So minus 1 plus minus square root 165 over 2. Let me write two values of x. x equal to minus 1 plus square root 165 over 2 minus 1 minus square root 165 over 2. Now condition on x was x must be positive. If we will check this is positive, this is negative. So negative value we will reject. So the accepted answer would be square root 165 minus 1 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care of yourself.